up north, do a little extra beaver trapping because I'm addicted. Didn't have enough down here that I wanted to do. So uh, I'm gonna head up north a few days, try to get me some more beavers. Before I do that, just gotta do a little trap maintenance. So putting new cables on most of my traps and I just wanna show you guys how that's done real quick. So I run cables that are anywhere between eight and 12 feet, depending on uh, location, depth of the water. Uh, there's a number of things that, that factor into what I do there. But what I'm gonna do, There's got a little kit over here that I got a bunch of different fittings that I put in, uh, put in so that it makes it a little easier to figure out what I'm doing. But you got a ferrule and a stop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the rope through the ferrule, make a little loop, and then I put a stop on one end. So it looks like that. Go over to the vise here. Down. Clips. Girlfriend's parents just drove by. So it looks like yay. It's good and crimped. Now, when I make my cables, I like to keep this loop adjustable by not crimping the ferrule. And what that allows me to do is to put it over a knot in a bag if I wanted to do that, if I wanted to use a tree on the bank, whatever. Um, I can also slip that depending on which side is which. I can take this and slip it over the stake if the stake's already driven into the ground and cinch it up. Sorry, I couldn't see that. So we'll try that again, but it's adjustable. And I do that on both ends. Now, we got a trap here. Here I got a beautiful TS-85, first year in use, so it's not really painted. Uh, I like to paint my traps, but the first year I don't do anything to them, let them rust up a little bit. Gives the paint something to hold on to a little bit better. A little bit of rust isn't going to hurt it. So at the end, you got your swivel there. Now normally, if I'm selling these, I like to put um, an L, an L drowning lock on the, the cable. But if I have my own traps, I don't need to because the swivel here works as a perfect drowning lock. So you go in the big end, the big opening, and out through the small hole. And as you see, it goes easy this way. So you're imagining the traps going down the cable. And as soon as they go to turn around, it acts just like a drowning lock, like an L lock. Tightens right up every time. Grab a couple more fittings, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did on the other side. Make a loop, go down to here, stick with the legs, give her a couple of things. So much easier than using a hammer, in my opinion. Everybody does things different. Grab the trap. Just like that, we're ready to go on this one. See you up north.